exactly how that how to do that. And just another multimeter here. I've got some sponge on one end of this here and sponge on the other end as well. And um, what you do is you give it a little bit of moisture. Uh, Squidge it out a bit. There you go. And then I don't know if you can see the multimeter. Yeah, you can see that. So um, what I'm going to do is just pop one end on one side of the pebble, one on the other side of the pebble, and we'll see what voltage we get. Oh yeah, 0.3 of a volt it started off at there. So you can see that there's quite a lot of energy in this type of material. Um, um, yeah. Uh, but the good thing about this is, you know, you can try this on any material, um, whether it's you know natural or unnatural, you know, man-made materials as well. But I've found that um, pyrite and and the types of materials here that um, are are um, kind of metallic in finish. They seem to be the, the ones to go for. Um, I personally feel I don't. Know, I've only tried this one, but I've got a feeling that uh, you know that that's probably. But if you can, you know, test those as well. Yeah. All right. Um, so I'm going to show you this little book here, which is really handy. This little book here. Now then. Uh, the book is called uh, Pocket Nature Rocks and Minerals. Uh, yeah, it's, and I found this really handy because it tells you what different structures there are in different types of crystals and rocks so the great thing about pyrite is that it's saying oh you know there's pyrite and it tells you that it, um, the uh, crystal system is cubic um, but strangely enough it works very well with um, quartz and sand because apparently you know sand is mixed with a lot of this same type of quartzy type material silica and so um, it, it puzzled me for a little bit, you know, I said, why would that be stronger? And, um, well, it's still puzzling me now. <laughs> and, uh, but, um, yeah, but to get a good understanding of how the structures have um, a lot to do with um, the energy output, um, um, well, a good thing to look at as well, if you get a chance, is to have a look at, um, hold on a minute, mm and find it. Uh, there's a video on YouTube called Sacred Geometry um, and um, the, the, the uh, account name is Shrunken Simon. Now if you get a chance to have a look at that it will really help in the understanding of how all of this works. And uh, So uh, all I can urge you to do is get onto YouTube and have a look at that as well at the same time as doing as much research into this as, as you possibly can. The great thing about these batteries also is that you're able to put them in um, series to increase the voltage and it works and uh, also you can put them in parallel uh, to increase the current as well and uh, successful um, experiments that I've uh, managed to accomplish uh, I used a few uh, capacitors and um, brought the voltage up to sort of like 8 or 9 volts something like that wires them into the capacitors and um, it will charge the capacitors up and then you can discharge that into a motor which is what I did into a motor and it span the motor off fine so it just proves that it is all um, you know usable energy that's been produced ah, and uh, I think that's all I can show you really for now um, anything else uh, yeah. oh yeah anodes and cathodes yeah so yeah with that one um, with the pyrite it was just you can short straight onto the pyrite and that will give you your anode you can short straight onto the stainless steel of, of this particular one and it will give you the um, the cathode slightly different for these ones up here because it's a different metal but I think um, that's what the reason is why it is um, and what you've got is a uh, kind of uh, kind of an alloy more than anything on, on on these particular ones, but then brass works very well. But in 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 both of these, they are the, it's just quartz crystal and sand and moisture, and that will give you um, you know fairly good voltage. Uh, okay, great. Oh, nice chatting to you. Everyone. Speak to you soon.